How would you describe that victory today, Gus? Enjoyable. I think that's the most important thing that you get another three points on the board. It's a, it's a, an interesting time because you're going into this uh, business end of it. You know, when you know, people look at the weather and the conditions, that it's difficult playing conditions. We've got to just grind results out. I think uh, it was a couple of set pieces that have been the difference today. Um, Darren Miller's set pieces are outstanding. You know, the corner for the first goal and. And obviously the free kick for the third goal, but um, I thought after the you know, 45 minutes we've settled down and we're a wee bit more in control of what we were trying to do, you know, and that was pleasing because we um, we reminded them of the standards that they've set at half time and what what's expected of them, the jobs that they've been given within the team, uh, and they did that in the second half. So um, just delighted to get another three points. How close to coming off was Darren? Very close. I think um, the tackle. Going in as early as it did, um, it, it wanted a yellow card, but it was because it's that early, you know, you get away with it. But it was a sore one, it's caught him right on the ankle. He, he'd been struggling a little bit before the game as well, so it was certainly very you know, a close call, you would say, to, to take him off. But um, because even his first corner from that same side uh, wasn't of his usual standard, but uh, the second one made up for it, and that changed my mind. Uh, there seems to be a growing bond between the fans and the teams. What do you put that down to? Results, probably. You know, I think the fans can see that uh, the attitude and the work ethic of the group. Um, the, they might get a little bit frustrated at times. We can accept that, but I think when you see your, your team and your players wearing the jersey that they would love to wear, you know, in a football pitch, and they see those individuals working as hard as they can. They can relate to that, so that's important, you know. And we certainly would embrace that and encourage it more often. That um, you know they really get behind the players. I think it's a key time that's coming up. It's only a few weeks now until we go back into Hamden, uh, and I think, I hope, we'll get a massive lift from that. Everybody connected with the club, but most importantly, the players when they go and perform in that in that arena. One of the players that kind of typifies that spirit is John Carter. Yeah, he's, uh, t- I think I said earlier, it taken a little while to sort of settle into the role and what we were, we were looking for uh, from Chris Duggan, picked up his injury that we brought in from Partick Thistle. And it's really been, you know, it's a battle, you know, between uh, John and Ross McPherson. And, and at the moment, you know, John's doing really well. He got his opportunity up at Abroath uh, and, and made it extremely awkward for a growth, and he's continued to do that. And again, he gets his reward. You know, this afternoon, good run, good cross, but he's he's going to cross his defender. Some that we preach, you know, consistently in training that uh, strikers should get across the defender, and he's done that, and he gets his reward. So I'm delighted for him. I saw them in Troyes next Saturday. They've suffered a heavy defeat today, so I'm sure they'll be looking to bounce back. Yes, I, again, it's it's a difficult game. You know, we're on my travels again, but we've yeah, a reasonable record on the road at the moment and we, we look to continue that but we know um, we have to maintain the standards that we've set in recent months I think we saw today East Stirling raised their game you know, and, and made it difficult for us we had to work it hard we had to compete with them and it will be the same now because I think the one thing that we maybe touched on in pre-season was that the respect you know, that we'd have to earn from from players clubs at this level but I think we've shown you know, as a group you know, what we're all about uh, and Teams and players won't take us lightly, and they'll know that they're going to get a difficult game. And um, we've got to make sure that we we set those standards again.